Hey, what's up? David here with Optivity Fix, and welcome back to the channel. Today, in this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at on how I created this window fire uh, visual effects shot here, and it's a pretty interesting setup that I did. Uh, before I get into the tutorial, I want to thank Visual Effects Pro here. Now, this company does amazing stock footage on action elements such as fires, smoke burning wood that's the latest one at the moment we've got particles here we've got embers we've got a gun effects bloods all these types of visual effects that you actually need for your own visual effects shots now they do provide view, uh, free visual effects elements as well all you have to do is just include your name and email here and then they'll send you a link so you can download some of their free effects but i highly recommend you go on to their website uh, if you use the coupon code after video effects, you get up to 15% off of your purchase. So you can use these for you can use the coupon for any of these packs. And I highly recommend the structure of war fires because that's the footage that I use for this tutorial. I used a bit of their fire embers as well. So go ahead and use the coupon code for these two. Again, 15% off. I think that's a very good deal from these high quality assets so please go check them out i'll leave a link in the description below i also leave the coupon code as well so you can use that for your purchase so please check them out it's very high quality you've got amazing they even got more editing transition effects we've got bundles here and you got courses as well so go ahead check them out um but yeah uh other than that Let's go ahead and back into the tutorial and see how I use some of these elements within the visual effects shot today. But before we do that, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so let's have a look at this setup here. So first things first, uh, I might actually just hide all this first and just leave the fire window. So here we got is my fire window structure here. So it's just, and in order to make this effect, I firstly, let's actually shut all this as well. So. Here we got is my usual stock footage here. It's pretty dark. Uh, it's probably because I color corrected it. Yeah. So here's my original stock footage. And in Mocha, I actually tracked this. So I'll show you my tracking. So don't worry about these two tracking mode points. We only need to focus on this one. So I just basically used the spline tool to track this window. And that was it. Just tracked it through. Made sure that it was in proportion because uh, in case it gets all wonky or stuff like that, I need to readjust it. But this was a clean motion track, so that was very nice. So once you get that tracking data done, you can just go back into After Effects. And then under Tracking Data, you can go and select your one. Now, initially, I was going to use corner pin data, but because I had some problems, I decided to use transform data instead. So I copied that onto a null object, which is in this comp here. So this is where all my tracking data is, right over there. Uh, I just copied onto that null object. And then, yeah, that was it. And then now, I, now that I have that, I can just go ahead and just pick whip all of our stock footage to that tracking data so that it will follow as well. Okay, now to color correct this, I wanted to make sure that when I added my glow, it wasn't getting these highlights here. So the sky here and these like these little cement areas. Oh, I don't think it's cement. or oh, these these little white thin lines between the brick layers. So I added a curves adjustment and I just desaturated it a little bit. Okay, and then I added some burnt marks to this. I actually shut off the color correction just so you can see so I had some burnt marks here and all it is just some footage I had on the side so you can go ahead actually I think these are from action VFX so you may have to check them out and have a look 
But anyway, I just use some burnt marks and then just to place them around my like scene here. So you could see like it's all around here. I didn't do a do a clean job because it was gonna be covered up by the fire, so don't worry too much about it. Next I've got like an internal glow, so this is just an orange solid, and I turned the opacity down, set it to add, and just make sure it's in line with that. I've got my first fire inside the frame, then a second fire, which is just offsetted by the time, and just another third fire. Now this fire was just uh, the same one, but I just added a fast box blur, just to give it a little bit of glow detail. Okay, and then I added these burnt marks for my beams here. So if you want to have a look at this, so what it is, I've got a it's like an alpha mat. Uh, so I'll just switch the track mat off. So I've got an alpha mat with this red solid, and I set that to alpha mat so that it would just cut out for where the solid appears. Okay, so that and then. I use that again as a luma mat for my burnt mark. So all it is just this is just a fractal noise with some high end, and then I just set it that to luma mat. Okay, and then you can just play with the contrast for how you want your burnt marks to be. So set the contrast and brightness pretty high to get that high burnt marks look. Okay, oh, I think this was eleven. Alright, so then I've got my ceiling fire, which is just a fire just on top here. Then I've got some more window fire structures. So I've got number one here, one there, just one in the center, and just one on the side here, and just another one on the side here as well. So that's pretty much it for the fires. And then I've got an overall glow to this. Now this was just an orange solid that has just been feathered out quite a lot. So you can see it's about 600 pixels and the opacity is about 20%. Okay, and that'll just give me a little bit of an overall glow look. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, in case you don't know what this mark is, this is a guide layer. So basically, uh, I just use this just for reference purposes. So in case you don't know what that is. If you set this to guy layer, it won't actually render in your final scene. It will just appear in your comp. So if you do that, if you just go into layer, guy layer, set it there. Yeah, and it will turn off. So now it's going to render, but we don't want that. So just set that to guy layer, and then it won't render in your final scene. Okay, so that's all the file structure. So it's a pretty simple setup. I'll, I'll provide the project file, so I don't worry too much about it. Unless you have the stock footage, you can't actually see what I did. However, if you use my coupon code after video effects, you can get up to 15%. So just use that. Anyway, back to the scene here. So, so I've got three fires, structure windows. Um, there we go. So I've got one, two, three, and then just offset the time a little bit so you get some variation. Uh, to the fire so that it doesn't look like it's all synchronized. Okay, and then it's pick whip to my tracking data. Okay, so just right here. All right, so now we got that. We got a smoke element from this window, another smoke element from this window, and another smoke element from this window. So we got three smoke elements coming from each window. Pretty straightforward. Again, track the data. I mean, no, pick whip the to the tracking data. And then we got a few embers. So I'm just going to turn on all these embers. And these are embers again from Visual Effects Pro. And I will sell again. Use my coupon code 15% off from all your purchases. Okay, so if we have a look here, you can see that we've got some nice embers going. I'm not going to set this to third res so that we can play this in real time. Yeah, so you can see the embers are happening here. So I just grabbed a bunch and then offset at the time a little bit so that we get played throughout the scene here. Then we got our vignette, which is just around here. 
a bit of color correction. I'll just show you my color correction actually. Because this did take me quite some time just to get the glow correct. So I've got a curves adjustment and I just boosted the RGB just a bit. I got my first glow, which is this just this highlights and then set the threshold pretty high. Be sure to set it to A and B colors. Uh, I've got a second glow which is a bit more softer than the previous one and then I've got a third glow which is overall going to even softer than the previous one so that's uh, showing that's nice I've got an unsharp master to sharpen some of that detail and I wasn't going to use magic looks but uh, I didn't end up using it. I found a better plugin. So for this specific shot, it did work, but I think I just found something better. So if I just set this, this was originally going to be at like 50%. So that doesn't look too bad, but I think I used something a bit more, more film look, and that is film nitrate. And then this will help a little bit with the color correction and the saturation glow. So you can actually just um, control the midtone shadows and highlights here, which is what something I wanted to manually control initially anyway. And I just adjusted some of the temperature, exposure, and all that kind of stuff. They even had an RGB curves as well. So I played with the green channel a little bit because uh, the green channel is a good look. Uh, no, sorry, a good way to just to color correct the uh, red and yellow. I didn't really play the curves so much, I just left it the same as default. So if you have a look, that's a major difference to your scene here. And then I added Video Copilot's heat distortion effect. So if you don't have this effect, don't worry, you can just use the normal turbulent displace effect and then just set this down to like 20. And then that will give you just added evolution to this. So that will help with your scene here. So if you add all those effects up, you should end up getting something like this. Other than that guys, um, I just want to once again thank Visual Effects Pro for providing the footage uh, for this tutorial. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to create this effect, so please go check them out on their website. Go ahead and buy some of their products, they really do create high quality visual effects. And this is an effect that I've been wanting to do quite some time actually. I actually wanted to try it out myself, but I never had the opportunity because I didn't have any of the other footage. So I just want to... Thank you for uh, Visual Effects Pro for making that happen. Anyway guys, my name is David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And until then, I will see you in the next video.